Have you gone out and picked out a nice planner thinking that you could use it to help you to be more productive just to bring it home and open it up and realize that you are not busy enough to plan. You don't know what you can plan for to fill those pages up. In today's video, I'm going to share with you 25 ways to fill up your planner pages if you feel like you're just not busy. So let's get into it. All right, you guys, I'm excited to share this video with you. Again, it's gonna be 25 ways to fill up your planner pages, especially if you feel like you're just not busy enough. So you don't feel like you can use a planner because you have nothing to write in it. So I'm gonna share with you some ideas and some things that you can do to fill up those pages. Okay, so next month for March, I'm gonna be using, I'm um, going back to the vertical line layout. And this monthly here is from At Home with Kita. We have monthly insert there. Um, and so I decided to kind of merge them both together so I could have the clean page. And I'm thinking for Fancy Plants Co. to adopt this sort of clean look too for this year's stationery box. Haven't quite decided yet, but I'm just throwing that out there. Okay, so I have a pre-filled in the first week of March. And I'm going to break this down for you guys in terms of all of the ideas that I have here. Um, because, I mean, I do, I guess, consider myself from time to time a busy person, but not always. So sometimes my pages look like that <laughs> from week to week because although these things are not really busy, super busy things, even to where you have to leave the house, um, you know, I don't, I mean, not always write in all of these things. Um, so anyways, my pages rarely look like this. I at least usually have a couple of things written down. So these are all the things that you can write that's just for the average everyday person in your planner so that you can first and foremost be productive because that's what we want, but also just some ideas of things that you can write that maybe you haven't thought about, okay? So the first thing um, is appointments and tasks. So of course we should all be writing our appointments and tasks in our planner because that is probably one of the main reasons why we have this planner, okay? So how that looks for me is at the top in this first box here is where I would typically write in all of my appointments, any outings that I need to go out to. <laughs> and also y'all, this is an actual real week. So this is how my first week of March would actually look if I wrote in all of the suggestions I'm going to share with you. Okay. So as you can see here at the top in this box here, I've got a couple of things in terms of tasks, errands, appointments that I put in here. So I'll go ahead and do that first. I mark out all of the appointments. So look, I have vet appointment. Um, I have an event at the gym on Saturday. I've got um, parent teacher conferences. Um, and so just sit first and think about all the tasks that you have to get done. And all of these suggestions I'm making to you are in no particular order. It's just things that you could do to fill up your planner pages to look beautiful like this. And of course, that's not the reason why you're filling in the pages. You really want to use your planner to be productive. But I find sometimes when my page looks like this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I, you know, I'm feeling really inspired and I want to tackle all the things. Um, when the page looks empty, then, ugh, you know, sometimes it's hit or miss for me to get things done. So I have to write it all out. All right. So that's the first thing you want to do your appointments, tasks and things like that. OK, secondly is your meal plan. So sometimes I would pop in a half sheet. I do have a full meal planner in this planner, but I do like to see it on my weekly spread. So if you can see here at the bottom, I have what I'm having for dinner all week. Okay, so keto pesto chicken leftovers, keto sausage vegetable something <laughs> is right here. And I even put the carbs so that I could know how many carbs it was. And then leftovers and then keto taco pie, leftovers and then eating out. So that is all the way at the bottom here for me. I don't need too much space to be able to write this in, but it's great to be able to see it when I'm looking down at the day and I can see my meal plan for the day as well. All right, so that's something that else that you could add. Next thing is workouts. Now I'm not a super big workout person, <laughs> as you guys know, it's a lot for me. I'm trying to get into the swing of things, but I find again that when you write it in, there's more likely a chance that you're gonna do it, okay? Again, in no particular order, but as you can see here, I have upper body, 
and then I have walk and then I have lower body and then I have walk and then upper body walk walk and um, typically when it comes to breaking down those things if I need to break them down I'll break them down in my fitness planner I have a separate fitness planner well where I'll go into detail on you know even my eating um, you know things like that and then I have a separate meal planner where I'll go in and write in like all the groceries I need to buy and things like that so I do use them all together and they all work for me so you could write in your workouts you could put a little sticker there as you can see I've kept it pretty neutral with my spread but y'all know you can go all out and you could use the fitness planner to put fitness things you could use the meal planner to use do meal planning things it's just up to you with how you want to um, let it look in your planner in terms of stickers again I just like a simple clean pretty um, look I guess you know with just dots and boxes and things like that so that's an option too or you can literally just write it in with a pen and you don't need a sticker okay all right so um, your workouts are the next things that you can log in your planner again you can log it on the day that you're doing it or you can also log it on the sidebar and so that way you know you just do Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday you know however many days you work out and you could work right what you're doing for that particular day okay all right so next up is your water intake so I love tracking water intake because I try I have a 40 ounce Stanley cup that I try to fill up a few times per day and so I like to track my water intake as well so how I track that is at the bottom here you can see I have a little dot there and it's got water and then what I would do is when I reach my goal, which is again to fill that up three times a day, or you could put how many cups of water you wanna do, then you could check it off here. Or you could just know mentally that that's your goal. So again, things that are not like super significant, I don't need a lot of space for, I would tend to put at the bottom of this spread because I just need one line item. And I like this layout because it's just got the boxes here at the top and then it's got several lines. And so it's great for you if you're a list maker like me, I'm definitely a list maker. All right, so the next thing that you can write is medication and vitamins. So if you're on some sort of vitamin regimen, um, as you can see here, I have a line item there that says vitamins. So I could just come here every day. And once I take my vitamins, then I can check it off my list. All right, so that's something that you can track in your planner again. That's also a sidebar thing that you could write. You could put it on a sticky note and just transfer it from day to day. It's up to you, but I like writing it in. Um, it just puts it right in front of me so that I can make sure that I'm doing that. All right, next up is bill payment, especially if you don't have a full on uh, financial planner, which I do have in here, right there, there's a tab. And so I have, um, you know, a, there's a lot there that I can break down, but I do like to see it on my regular weekly calendar too. I don't typically put it on my monthly calendar, but you could if you wanted to. So, you know, you just take the, of all of the bills you need to pay for that particular month, and then you would go ahead and write it in. So in this particular week, I may not have had any bills. So that's, I'm looking to see, okay, so I have a service, 999 service renewal that I need to take note of. Um, and then other than that, I don't really see, oh, my Walmart card, and then my Lowe's card, and my upgrade Visa card. Okay, so that's how that looks for me. There's just a couple of spots where I put a box so that way I could remember to pay the card on that particular day. And, um, and remember, of course, when you're looking at your planner, you're only looking vertical. Okay, so I'm only doing these things on Monday, these things on Tuesday, and so on and so forth. So um, this shouldn't look like it's too much. It shouldn't. So you have to do what works for you. For me, I know that my eye is drawn this way. So I'm not looking, I'm looking at everything as a whole at some point, but day by day, I'm only looking at the columns there, okay? So next up is your bill payment. So you could do any of your, um, you know, bills that you physically pay. I don't tend to do recurring things or like uh, things that, not recurring, but I don't tend to do things that have an auto pay because I don't feel the need to track that, but you could. Um, I tend to just do things that I have to physically pay, okay? So that takes time for me to, to pay it. So the next is bill payment, and that's pretty straightforward. All right, then we have car maintenance. So if there's anything that you need to do for your car, then you can write it in on whatever that day is. So my son is going to detail my car. So I wrote it here on the sidebar because it, it's not tied to any specific day. And then also I had to get my emissions, which y'all, 
check that off. I planned this out before that was done. And then I have to, you know, take it in to get my updated registration. Okay, so I wanted to make sure that I took that um, note so that way I can make sure I get that done. And other than that, I don't think there's anything else that I need to do. But if you want to clean your car out, um, anything like that, you, you want to anything pertaining to your car, then you could either write it in the sidebar like you see here or you could write it on a specific day. All right. Home projects. That's a big one for me. We actually have a kitchen project coming up. So we're going to be doing some things in the kitchen and I'm looking forward to and I know it's going to be a lot of work. Okay. So I'm going to break it down day by day and I'm going to do certain things on certain days. Okay. So as you can see cabinet day one, and then we have cabinet day two, day three, day four, five, six, and seven. All right. So again, we're just going to be doing certain things on those days, but I wanted to indicate that here. Um, also when it comes to breaking your day down, you want to make sure all these things are realistic things that you can do in a day. Okay, so just because I'm giving you 25 things that you can write in your planner, if you feel like you're not busy, you also don't want to overly do it and make yourself too busy. Okay, so they should be all things that you can tackle in that day. If for some reason you're not able to just push it to the next day, um, but you don't want to push too much stuff because then you're not going to be able to do those things on the next day. Okay, oh. so I hope that makes sense. All right, then pet care. So I don't know if you guys know, but we have two dogs. So, you know, we have a lot going on with them and things that needs to be done for them. Um, so vets, you know, any vet appointments, any just pet care appointments. If you need to pick up dog food, you could write that here. It's up to you. It's typically not a lot that we need to write or I need to write in here in terms of pet care. But now whenever something comes up, I wanna make sure that I indicate there uh, what needs to be done. So I put vet appointment at one, all right? Next thing you can track are special events, okay? So I tend to track anniversaries, so that way I can send someone a text and let them know happy anniversary. I feel like that is something special, you know, that you could do for a friend. So as you can see, we have some friends anniversary here. Um, and so that way I could just text or call or I could send a card and let them know that I'm thinking of them. So any sort of special events that you have coming up, you could write that in your planner as well. And again, that shouldn't be that many unless you're just that busy, in which case you wouldn't need to watch this video. <laughs> Um, and so if you can think of someone's anniversary or any other special occasion, then you can write it here in your planner week. So that way, again, you can, um, you know, just show a little love to them. So that way they know that you're thinking of them. All right. So next up is your ministry or your spiritual or your Bible reading, um, anything like that. If you know, that's something that you do. I write that in my planner. So I have a daily scripture that I read every single day. And so what I wrote here is just that daily scripture. I do have a Bible study binder that I use. And within that binder system is where I write out a little um, summary of what that daily scripture teaches me. Okay, so uh, you could write in your daily scripture every single day and then um, you could break it down in another planner if you so choose or you could just read it and then write it here just so you have it there in front of you and it, it can just keep you inspired to get through your day. Okay, and then I also uh, put all of my meetings. We go to a couple of different meetings during the week. So I have a Sunday meeting at 930 and then I have a Wednesday meeting. 7 30 and then i also do my ministry stuff so any day that i'm going in the ministry is on friday and then also on saturday and any other day i decide to go i would write it in my week so that i could know all of the spiritual things that i'm doing so again scripture a day um, and any bible reading and longer and deeper thinking things go in my other plan that i was just telling you about my bible study binder which by the way if you haven't seen it let me show you we just launched these recently and this was our most popular item last month. We have a binder and then we also have a coil planner. So I have a scripture section there. So again, um, it wouldn't just be about me writing in the scripture. Um, that's where I do my deeper scripture study. But when it comes to my daily scripture, it's here in the daily text section. And I come here and I write in the thought from that scripture of the day. So. The scripture is mentioned here as well as so I would just literally write that in here or you could if you decide to so this has been just such a handy tool for me and I've just been really loving using it to just do my my personal study and Bible reading all right so this is what I use so whenever I reference that this is what I'm talking about 
Okay, so ministry things, if that's something that you do, there are several options. There are several options that I just share with you from the scripture writing to logging your meetings, ministry, if that's something that you do as well. Right. And then social events is another thing that you could write in your planner. Um, what I like to do when it comes to social events is I like to check on like, you know, online, I'll type in like events in Suwannee or events in Lawrenceville and I'll pull up um, all of the events. I'll look at it to see if it's something that we want to do as maybe a family or just my husband and I, and then I'll write it in. So on this particular week, there isn't any social events, but I do have on my at a glance pages, I went in and I wrote all of the ones that I thought I would want to do. So like um, they have a slide and play event somewhere in our uh, local area. They have a Swanee Fest. They have a Swanee Beer Fest. Um, they have the Taste of Swanee. So I write all of that down. I may not attend it, but I want to see it so that way I could write it in my week and I could see if we can make time for it. So write in any social events, look in your area to see what they have going on for the family or for your kids or whomever and transfer that into your at a glance if you have them, your monthly and then your weekly. So that way you don't forget about them. And then you can even set a reminder on your phone if you want to take it a step further. All right, so that is social events. Next is books to read. So I just got this new book called Everyone Should Be a Millionaire. I'm not sure if you guys read that book, but I saw it on TikTok and I was like, let me get this. So I got it from my Kindle. So I'm gonna start to read that. Um, I was reading Eat That Frog. I'm not sure if you guys have read that. I'm not too deep into it um, because I'm just so busy with other things <laughs> that you could see, but I do like to make time for reading at least 20 minutes a day outside of my Bible reading, okay? So I indicated that here, read that frog. Um, I put what chapter and so that way I would know you could even put like what page you're on um, so that way you could remember to read your book um, and you know you have it right in front of you so that you don't forget all right so book reading anything that um, your kids are reading um, it's up to you with how you want to track it or what you want to track in terms of book reading but I think that's a great way to fill in those pages again it's something that you are doing so you want to make sure that you're putting it on the day if you do it every day you could put it every day or if you just want to sit down on certain days and and do a big chunk of reading then you could indicate that in your planner Okay, next one is kind of along the same lines as movies to watch and TV shows. So I love a good TV show. Um, I'm definitely a true crime person, okay? <laughs> so I do watch ID from time to time. Um, there's some shows there that I, I, um, I'm fascinated with watching for some reason. And so you could indicate whatever shows and movies you wanna watch. Like it, let's say you have a date night or something coming up on the weekend, you could track whatever that movie is that you're going to see. And so I watch Married at First Sight. Not sure if you guys do, but I love that show. <laughs> and so I've indicated it here and here because that's when it said the episodes were coming on. Um, I, I, you know, sometimes I, I'm a little frustrated with how they release episodes because when I'm in a binge watching mood, they have like five or six episodes on there. I want to just watch the whole season. Well, like, why do we have to like, you know, it's on demand. So... <laughs> I want to see it all right then and there. So it's a little frustrating for me. So I went ahead and wrote the days here. So that way I wouldn't forget to watch it. Although I probably wouldn't forget. Um, that is another way that you can fill in your planner pages. Any shows that you want, really uh, like to watch, maybe someone told you about, or you just don't want to forget to catch those episodes, you can write that in your planner as well. All right, next up is affirmations. And that is a big one that you could use to fill up those pages. If you have a daily affirmation, you could put a daily affirmation on every day of the week to keep you inspired, or you can just have a weekly affirmation. Um, so that's kind of what I have here, um, but I have like a, a whole series of things I can say to myself. So that says I am successful, I am confident, I am strong, I am powerful, I wake up motivated, I'm unstoppable, I'll have a phenomenal day. So it's just a series of affirmations that I've written here on the sidebar. Um, again, you could take each one of those and write them in every day. I just felt like the sidebar was the best place to put this. And so that way you can stay motivated and encouraged and you could read this to yourself every single day to just keep pushing you forward to make sure that you're achieving all of your goals. 
All right, and next up we have anything um, school related. So like teacher conferences. I even sometimes like to write her grades here um, just on the sidebar so that I could see where she is. So as you can see, I do, uh, Addison does have uh, parent teacher conferences coming up um, in February. So I think it's Thursday of this week. Um, and so you could write that on whatever day it's in. You could again, write the grades on the sidebar or at the bottom. Um, but that's definitely something that you could track there. Um, anything school related, especially if you're really involved, um, like PTA, um, as you can see here, she has a book fair at 11. So I wrote that there so I could make sure I, I could volunteer if they're going to have people, um, you know, accept people to volunteer. I want to be able to do that. Um, so I wrote that in there so I don't forget. And I'm trying to see what other things that I wrote in for, oh, like math tutoring. So she does math tutoring on Monday and then Wednesday. Um, does she do math tutoring on Wednesday, y'all? Oh, and she does have parent teacher. Is that? Oh, it is. Um, I thought it was this week, you guys. Uh-oh. But I wrote it in here and then they have early release. You know, they always have early release the day of the conferences and then the like the two days that the parents have conferences so we didn't choose wednesday we chose thursday so let me look on this calendar you guys because for some reason i thought it was this week okay see i did do correctly so it's in the week of the first week of march all right and i should have known that that was correct because i pulled it from my at a glance pages and that's always correct so that's a school related activity early release and any digital learning days, anything like that, I definitely put on my weekly calendar. So basically anything school related. Um, and you can track whatever you know school related is going to, to work for you, whether that be grades, you, you, maybe you don't wanna do grades, it's up to you. Um, and so I just wrote in the, the book fair volunteering and then the early release days for her. And that's pretty much it when it comes to school things because we do have a school section too. So I break a lot of things down there, okay? Then I also notice in terms of meeting, we talked about ministry, spiritual Bible stuff, is that I write on the sidebar here um, all of my meeting prep stuff. So I meant to mention that as well. So um, on Monday, I prep for my weekly Bible reading, Tuesday, Treasures, Wednesday, Congregation Study, Thursday, Apply Plus Living, um, Friday, Weekly, Watch Tower Study, and same for Saturday, and then Sunday, Personal Study. So I just wrote a little, a little thing down there at the bottom so that I could remember what I was doing for each day. So instead of writing each of these things on the day that it goes on, I just have a little sidebar down here and then I can check it off as I'm doing them. So that's a part of my ministry, spiritual Bible study, all that stuff, okay? I meant to mention that, my bad, okay? All right, so moving on. Again, we talked about um, parent stuff, school, teacher, grades, um, conferences and all of that stuff. So now um, extracurricular activities is something else um, that you could track in your planner. So Addison does tennis and she does tennis every Tuesday at 520. Um, so we've got that here. She was doing um, gymnastics, but then she decided she didn't want to do gymnastics anymore. She was doing dance, then she didn't want to do dance anymore. And then she was doing piano, no longer wants to do that anymore. So the only thing that she's doing right now extracurricular activity wise is tennis. Um, she also does math tutoring, which we talked about earlier. Um, and so she does that Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I guess that is considered extracurricular. I kind of lumped it in with school stuff because it is for school. And so I write that in on each day. So that way I don't forget that she needs to do that. And I think, is it Monday? I know it's Monday and Friday. Uh, she just got on a recurring schedule. So before we used to have to go in and we used to have to schedule her for the days of the week that she's going in. And so now we put her on a recurring schedule. And I want to say that's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, yeah, so I make sure to write those in. And I even, it looks like I highlighted them in pink. Or maybe this week she's not doing it because she has... Um, early release pan teacher conferences so I, we didn't schedule her for this particular day because it wasn't on my schedule i just transferred it over from my schedule here and so that's what she does for her extracurricular activities all right so now we're on to doctor's appointments so that is kind of appointments but i'm just breaking them down um, as doctor's appointments that you can write on your calendar and that's pretty self-explanatory you just want to you know whenever you schedule an appointment again it starts for me on my at a glance pages and then i transfer them for at a, from at a glance onto my monthly and then into my weekly okay and so i don't think i had any doctor's appointments this particular week so i didn't 
I didn't write any in to show you guys how that would look. I don't think I did for this week, okay? But that would just literally be, you know, writing in whenever that appointment is, all right? So next up is your self-care. So like massage appointments, nail appointments, hair appointments, yoga, spa, anything like that that you are doing for self-care, which is super important, you wanna write it in. Okay, so I, you see here, massage appointment at one, and then hair appointment at 12. So we've got a lot going on self-care wise. If you had a product you wanted to try or any sort of things surrounding self-care, then you could definitely write that in here so you could see it in front of you. Um, you don't forget about that particular appointment or that product to try or that facial you wanna do, um, anything like that. Now Addison and I started to do our mommy daughter facials. Uh, I could write that in if I wanted to so I would forget to do it nightly. If you wanna write in your skincare routine, you can do that. Um, there's so many options when it comes to what to write for your self-care. So I'll leave that up to you. Um, just sharing the idea of what you could track in your planner and self-care is definitely one of those things. All right. And then I know this is kind of school related, but PTA meetings. So if you're like me, you um, are heavily involved in your kids schooling. And so you want to make sure that you are um, tracking the meetings for PTA, any involvement you have in PTA. I broke that out separately because I feel like that can be a lot sometimes, um, you know, from all the school events that you know you volunteer for anything that you have to do in terms of like I'm room mom. So that's kind of PTA related. I want to make sure that I'm breaking that out into my planner for this particular week. Um, we have book fair. So I need to figure out if they're going to be accepting people to volunteer for the book fair and volunteer for the book fair. Um, and pretty much that's it in terms of PTA related stuff. Um, but you could do that whenever your PTA meeting is, you track that on your schedule as well. And, um, and so that's another thing that you could write in. All right, and then any memberships or like subscription renewals. I know that's kind of bill payment related, um, but if you wanna make sure that you remember when something renews or you need to renew something, um, a lot of things have auto renewals, then you could track that. So as you can see, gym membership renewal, whatever the cost is, so I can remember to go in and renew that, okay? And then, I, oh, okay, so this was what that was for, a music service renewal that I need to do as well. So this looks like there's just two things here that I need to make sure that I um, get renewed, okay? So you could track those things as well as a part of your bill payment if you want, or you could just view it separately and just you know write it accordingly. All right, so next up is any returns or exchanges. So if you guys are anything like me, <laughs> you know that I buy a lot of things from Amazon. Um, I've curved it a little bit lately, okay? I will say that, but I love a good Amazon find, okay? And um, sometimes things don't work out and I need to return that item. So I write in when I need to return the item by, so that way I don't forget. Um, this may not also be like the deadline according to Amazon, it just may, may be like my deadline to make sure I just get it done. So if I need to return anything, then I'll just go ahead and write that into my planner so that way I, does, I don't forget, okay? So, yeah, so any type of Amazon, so any type of returns, maybe it's not Amazon, maybe it's Target, um, maybe it's any type of online return, um, it's a great idea to track it in your planner so that you can make sure you get it done. Because I sometimes procrastinate with that, that's like something that, you know, that I do that I'm not always proud of is that I'll push this like to the last minute. So I try to write it in my planner as early on as possible and um, and not miss that deadline. Otherwise, you know, with Amazon, you only have a certain time period and most vendors. And so I can make sure that I get that return back to, to them, okay? All right, we are rounding out this list, you guys. Um, next up is any volunteer commitments. So if you volunteer in your local community and you wanna make sure that you um, are you know, keeping up with that, then you definitely want to uh, log that in your planner, okay? And um, so I don't have anything that I do to volunteer um, you know, outside of my ministry. So those days are here. Um, otherwise, there's nothing else that I would need to track to uh, remember to volunteer for. But if you do something with the homeless or uh, you volunteer at a shelter, or anything like that, you could write that in here. So that way you can make sure that you're keeping up with that. Okay. Um, and then you guys, I feel like there was one extra one that I didn't, uh, that I need to talk about, which I am going to talk about because we're, according to my list, we're on the last one. Um, so I'm going to throw another one in here because I know that that is um, 
something that I do, okay? And there's so much going on on this page, I guess it's, you know, I hope I broke everything down, but I want to give you a visual of how that would look. Um, so the last thing that I have on my list, but it's really two things, so it's really 26 things. So maybe I'll have to change the title of this video uh, to reflect that. Um, but the last thing that I have on my list is anything hobbies wise. So if you do like planning is a hobby, you know, or any sort of hobby that you do that you love, you could write it in. So as you can see here, Addison and I have started to knit and crochet and I'm working on a headband. So I, I wanted to write that in here so I could remember to work on it. And then also Addison and I are going to create a creative journal. And I told her about it already. She's at Nana's today. She's really excited about creating it with me. And so I wrote in here that we're gonna work on our creative journal. So that's really exciting. Um, other than that, hobbies wise, you guys, besides planning, I don't, I don't have a lot of hobbies. I really don't. I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't. And so, but I did write in the things that I do love doing as hobbies so that I can make sure I'm doing them on those days. Okay. And then lastly, number 26, which I planned in here, but I didn't write it on my list for some reason. Unless, oh, I did. I did. I forgot one. Okay. So it is 25. After bill payment, and car maintenance, we were supposed to talk about cleaning schedules before home maintenance or home projects, okay? That's a big one for me, all right? We all have to clean. We don't like it, but we gotta clean. And so I have here at the bottom my cleaning schedule. I typically do zone cleaning because that's what works for me to be able to break down things instead of looking at the big picture of things. I like to break them down and lump them in um, the different rooms by the section of our house. And I'll have to do a video on my channel sharing with you guys how to zone clean if you're not familiar with that process. But as you can see, first um, day is master bedroom and bathroom. Number two, stairs, hall, outdoor, car. Well, I'm sorry. This really should be stairs and hall. And then number three should be outdoor and car. Number four is dining room and office. Five is living room and office because um, I have my office and then my husband's office. Number six is the first bathroom and the laundry room. And number seven is Addison's room. And actually, I have my husband's office lumped in here. So... I'm not sure why I said office on both these days. Maybe it doesn't take me two days to do my office. I don't think so, but maybe um, I just wrote that by mistake. But, and then the basement really should be lumped in here somewhere too, but I think I pretty much tend to just do that every day because we're always down there in the shop. So I'm always just trying to tidy up as I go, okay? And so cleaning is that last thing. I also changed the bed sheets. So as you can see here, clean the refrigerator, um, order groceries. Um, that's not really considered cleaning, but I do you know, have other tasks outside of my zone cleaning that I do to make sure that I keep up with those activities as well. And um, clean the pantry. So I sprinkle those out through the week to make sure that I get that done as well because that's something that I do on a weekly basis. All right. And other than that, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I miss. I see that I have time with um, Malachi and time with Addison. So of course that's a part of what you're wanting to do as well. Um, make sure that you're tending to your family also. Um, so I'm not sure what category I have that in, but that's something you can track as well, just family time and, um, and things like that. So you can make sure that you're well balanced. So this is how a typical week would look for me if I wrote all of those things that I mentioned to you. And so I wanted to give you a visual showcase of that so that you could see um, how busy your week would look if you wrote in all of these things, which I feel like everybody's doing. Everybody has outings, everybody meal eats. Maybe you don't meal plan, but that's something you could work towards. Everybody um, tries to stay physical in some way, um, may, maybe working out or walking or whatever the case may be. We all drink water. Uh, most people have medication they take or vitamins they take. We all have to pay bills. We all have to take care of our car. We clean the house. We have home projects from time to time. Uh, some of us may have pets. I'm just kind of going down the list of everything we discussed. Uh, we all attend special events on occasions. Um, we also, we all have a need for spiritual things. Um, we have social events we attend, we read books, we watch movies, we watch TV shows. Affirmations is something that helps some people as well. If we have school age kids, we have to track certain things for their school, extracurricular, doctor's appointments. Uh, we should all be um, working towards a great self-care routine, PTA meetings if that's something that you're involved in. 
We all have membership subscription renewals, returns and exchanges, volunteer commitments and hobbies. And so you should be able to, even if you don't, all of those things don't pertain to you. If you just even cut the list in half, you should be able to see something similar to this and you won't feel like you can't use a planner because you're not busy enough to. We are all busy. And so tracking these things and writing them down is really going to help you to see that. And it's also going to help you to achieve whatever goals you have set out for yourself and make sure that you're staying productive and getting all the things done. Okay. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let me just give you a closer glimpse of how this looks because I just think it's so pretty and I'm really excited about using March this first week of March spread you guys and I just love how it turned out you can even color code this so you can have all these different colors represent something and you could keep a key in here we do have key journal cards that are three by five that you could use to make yourself a key punch it and slap it right on in your planner and then these colors could represent different parts or different aspects of your life uh, just so you could see things in a more organized way if that will help you so there's another option as well so these are all the things y'all this is 25 things you can track in your planner if you feel like you're not busy you're busy trust me you just need to see it on paper so thank you guys so much for watching today i really appreciate you stopping by i hope this video helped you in some way which means you'll give me a thumbs up you'll also comment below and let me know if you can think of another thing that we could track in our planner that maybe i didn't mention um, we would love to hear from you also one quick sidebar if you're looking for more ways outside of maybe what someone may comment below we do have a hundred things to track in your planner vellum so this is a sheet of vellum it's great for stacking as you can see you can see my little situation behind here it's super pretty and it's got a ton of things that you can use to be able to track in your planner um, you know that maybe we didn't talk about today it's a hundred things all right and so maybe that may help some of you as well I'll uh, try to remember to link it below but if you go onto our website and just type in a hundred things to track then you should be able to pull up this vellum um, it's available in various sizes all right so again thanks for stopping by I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here and come back by and catch another video, in which case I'll see you guys then.